Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. Last week, Sunday, I carried a text message, well, a WhatsApp message that a senior police officer in the St. James Police Division had asked me to deliver. I'm going to read it again. It is on your screen. It says, Good day, Papaye. I know your viewership is far and wide. Please, I'm asking you to send out this message for me. That is a photograph of Oshien Antonio Francis, O.C. Tevin Larson, O.C. Brocan. We know you were planning on leaving the island by boat, but you are next. Remember now, this was after the killing of one of St. James Police most wanted hoodlum, Nesta Gallimore, also known as Zado. So, the officer continued. We know you were planning on leaving the island by boat, but you are next. You can choose to arm yourself with 100 rifles and go out in a blaze of glory. Or you can call a lawyer, a JP, a pastor, etc. and hand in yourself to the police. The choice is yours. So, Brokan, up until now, he has not heed the warning. He is still at large. We are learning that on Friday, June 9, between 11 o'clock in the morning and 3 o'clock in the afternoon, there was a major police operation at Marine Circle in Bogue Village and the gated community of Cannon Circle in West Village in Montego Bay. Two houses were searched, but broken, he was not found. The police, they also took two guys into police custody who they claimed are associates of Brokhand. It is understood that they are facing gun-related charges. There was another major operation yesterday afternoon in search of Brokhand. It took place between 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock yesterday. This operation, it was carried out at Gardenia Crescent in Rosemount. We are told that two houses were searched, but Brokhand once again, he was not found. We are told that the police, they also seized a blue Toyota Axio motor car, which it is said was being driven by Brokan. Brokan. Brokan, take my advice. Do the right thing. In this next story, persons living in the Phoenix Park village area of Portmore, be careful, be vigilant. There are some breakings taking place at homes in the area. Now, between Friday night and early yesterday, Saturday morning, there were at least three such break-ins. And the scary part is, when these break-ins took place, the occupants of the homes were inside fast asleep. On all three occasions, the hoodlums, they stole cellular phones. On the three occasions, the hoodlums, they forced open the living room windows and enter the house. Please be careful, be aware, be vigilant, and do what you must to protect your life and your property. In this next story, this one took place last night, Saturday, June 10, about 10.30. It took place at Stephen Edge at Catadopa in the Cambridge Police area in the parish of St. James. We are learning that a joint police military team. They were conducting an operation in the area when a motorcycle with two guys aboard was seen by the team. And the motorcyclists, they were signaled to stop. It is said that the two guys on the bike, they tried to evade the security team who gave chase. We are told that the rider for the bike, he ended up losing control of it. Causing the bike to overturn, throwing both guys to the ground. An object fell from them on the roadside and bingo it was found to be a taros 9 mm pistol with the serial number intact it was affixed with a magazine containing 16 rounds of 9 mm cartridges the two guys who were on the bike one of them is marcinio graham he is 19 years old and he's living at maroon town the other one is alvan 
Wilson. He is 31 years old and he's living at Roamton, both in the parish of St. James. Both of them were charged and they'll be facing the courts shortly. Officers, job well done. So yesterday, I told you about an accident and I promised to update the story. That man on your screen, his name is Lancelot Pessoa, but he was popularly known as Lance. We are told that Lance is in his 50s. Lance was a popular and very good furniture maker who, for many years, he plied his trade at Sigurd Street in Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. We are told that Friday, June 9th, was Lance's birthday. Now, I might be wrong, but that is what I am being told. I have not yet confirmed it. Friday night, Lance was having a drink at a bar in the Grangeville police area. About a few minutes after 9.30, Friday night, it is said that Lance, he received a phone call. As a result of the phone call, he jumped on his Honda motorcycle and he rode off. But Lance, he did not reach far. He was riding towards Froome. We are told that on reaching in the vicinity of the entrance to the National Water Commission pump station, Lance, he was in the process of negotiating a left-hand corner, but he failed to maintain his position in the left lane. As a result, he collided into the front right section of a 2007 grey Suzuki Grand Vitara, which was coming in the opposite direction. Lance, he was thrown from the bike onto the road where he received serious head injuries. It is suspected that Lance, he died on the spot. Sad indeed. In this next incident, we are learning that a soup vendor, popularly known as Sanjay, he said to be in his late 20s. He was robbed, shot and seriously wounded at New Rumble in St. James at minutes to 1 o'clock early this morning. We are told that he was shot twice in his abdomen. We are also told that he's battling for life in hospital. Now, as soon as I get additional details, I'll be updating this story. Stand by for that. The mayhem. This next incident, it took place Friday night, June 9, close to 12 midnight. It took place at Waterlily Crescent in Narwood in Montego Bay. That man on your screen, his name is Akeem Smith, but he was popularly known as Makrat. Is it Makrat or Makrak? <laughs> well, it's one of them. He celebrated his 24th birthday on March 26th, and he lived at Albion Lane in Montego Bay. We are told that about three years ago, Makrat, he was shut up in Paradise Row in Montego Bay. He survived that attack. It is said that recently, Makrat, he got involved with a 20-year-old nursing student. She's living in the Narwood area. Makrat, he started visiting her at her home on a regular basis. So, some guys from the area, they started to pray Makrat. Friday night, it is said that Makrat, he picked up the female in his white Toyota Axio motor car. He and her went out and on the way back home, the female, she was the one who was driving the car. As she drove into her yard, both she and Makrat, they exited the vehicle. Two hoodlums were waiting on them. One of the hoodlums, he was armed with a gun. The hoodlum opened gunfire at Makrat. The female, she managed to run off inside of the house. The police, they were called and when they arrived on the scene, Makrat, he was seen lying face down in a pool of blood. He had gunshot wounds to his upper body. Luckily, the female was not harmed. From all indication, Makrat, he died on the spot. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, a number of 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. In this next incident, this one took place early this morning. Sunday, June 11, about 3 o'clock. It took place at Dean's Lane in Montego Bay. We are learning that a man, his name is 
Tony Allen. He's said to be in his late 40s. He's from New Road in the Cambridge area of St. James. We are told that Tony, he was standing along Lightbody Avenue in Montego Bay. He was assisting a family member. It is said that Tony, he left and went to the back of the yard of a house to get some items. But hoodlums were around there waiting and for whatever reason, their intention was to kill. They were armed with M16 rifles and Molotov cocktails. As Tony went around to the back of the yard, he was ambushed. The hoodlums, they opened gunfire killing him on the spot. The police were called and when they made checks, Tony, he was seen lying face down in a pool of blood. He had gunshot wounds to his back. The shirts that Tony was wearing, it was burnt. This was suspected to be lit from flammable substance from a Molotov cocktail that was found beside Tony. From all indication, Tony, he died on the spot. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, apart from the Molotov cocktail, they found 15 5.56 spent shells. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you know, something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell, then click all, so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. In the final story for today, that man on your screen, his name is Alexley Smith, but he was popularly known as Mark R. Alex. On December 28th, coming up, Alex, he will be celebrating his 38th birthday. He is a former member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. We are told that he used to work in the St. Andrew South Police Division for many years. It is said that Alex, he quit the force and he was running a black factory at Seven Sites in the Maypen area of Clarendon. Last night, Saturday, June 10, about some minutes after 10 o'clock, it is said that Alex, he was walking towards his home when he was pawn stand by hoodlums armed with guns. Alex, he saw them and he ran into a yard. But the hoodlums, they chased him because they decided that dirt for him. They caught up with him and they shot him multiple times in his forehead, his right hand, his left foot, his back and his left shoulder. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape. The police were called and when they went to the scene, Alex, he was found lying face down in a pool of blood. He appeared to have died on the spot. We are told that when this crime scene was processed, a number of 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa News Link. And PNL Blog TV. TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sea. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. Hey, cry with a mash up, Jamaica. Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica Cry me to mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica I could have sun shine a rain Jamaica no problem no pain Good boy them no go to a tear But me want me go to back Give me me go to back To the street and the lane Everybody them start complain Bloodshed, what a shame, what a shame But me want me country back, give me me country back Cry me to mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh, 
Jamaica, the land of the sun. Jamaica, we come now, the land of the gun. East and north and south, to me turn. Country and town, man, I be a blood of gun. Murder, don't you be every me hear them a murder. Cut it out, tell them no gun no further. Man, I dead like cans and birds, yeah. Who no listen, them a word, yeah. Crime, it a mash up Jamaica. Criminals, them a 